Hey basketball coaches, players, and fans, today I'm going to talk to you about Kyle Lowry and how he plays defense. Kyle Lowry is one of the better defenders in the NBA, at least according to me, and that is because he leads the league in charges taken. That's amazing because he's an all-star. He is clearly one of the two hearts of the Toronto Raptors. And he is sacrificing his body to take charges, which is amazing. So let's get down and break down how Kyle Lowry plays defense. So this first play is actually a tactic that the Toronto Raptors use. This is not necessarily 100% because of its copying Kyle Lowry, but this is a tactic they use. They like to sometimes double team the ball handler along the baseline, roughly near the coach's box line. Now, from there, what's going to happen is the defensive player on the far side, so they would have been playing a 3-2 zone in this clip, and what would have happened is Kyle Lowry would be then proceeding to guard that top player. And because of this, he's able to get through and steal that ball. Now, this is a tactic that the Raptors use, but it does come down to Kyle Lowry being able to time this right to be able to get that ball. Now, another thing that Kyle Lowry is really great at is the ability to really hit or get after that open ball or when the ball is shown to him. So what we have here, he looks to be Fournier, but I'm probably wrong. He's going to be driving towards the basket, and he shows that ball right there on Kyle Lowry's side, which is a mistake. You should really be keeping that close to your chest. And because of that, he shows that ball to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is really not afraid of picking up a foul, and he's able to block that ball out of his hand, and then they get that turnover. Now we have Kyle Lowry way over here in this next clip. Now what he's going to do is try and disrupt and cut off that ability to pass over to this player. He really does not want him to get that. And how does he cut that off? He's able to stay low. Check out how low he really is. And because of that, he's able to stay with that player. And because of that, he's able to stay close to him and not go for that fake. Some players would have gone for that fake. And because he is so low, he knows that he's going to be able to, if this player does truly cut towards that rim, he's going to be able to turn around quite quickly and cut that off. But because he was able to stay so low and stay so close to him, that player had no chance at all of being able to get that ball. And now he leaves his man. At this point, he needs to cut down just to cut off any shot from happening over here. But Kyle Lowry also doesn't mind leaving the player he is defending to go and take a charge on somebody else. And now in this case, he's not taking a charge, but he is disrupting the shot. And by disrupting the shot, you are, as a player, allowed to jump straight up, as we see Kyle Lowry doing, and contesting that shot. Now, that player did show that ball, which is why Kyle Lowry swiped at it and was successful. But if you're a younger player, you may not want to swipe at the ball. You may get called for the foul, but if you go straight up, you're not going to get called for the foul. Or at least you shouldn't. Now, even though Kyle Lowry is around a six foot player, I think he's in that six foot one range, he is a bulldog when it comes to the low post. And what I mean by that is this player is much bigger than Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry is defending the low post, at least in this clip. So, how does Kyle Lowry stop? that ball from getting to that player he front faces him and he keeps him too close to the basket which means that he keeps him below that first hash mark when you're trying to front face a player you really want to try and get him at the blocks or lower so that when that ball does go over top of you he is going to have to jump for it and he's going to be landing behind the backboard you turn, you keep your hands straight up, and it's going to be extremely difficult for him to score. So that's why you want to do that. But 
let's see here. He cuts off that ability for him to pass to that player. Now, he Kyle Lowry is sticking with that tall player. Of course, he is not coming over to help out just yet or at all because he doesn't want the tall player to get that ball. And at the last second, when that player who is driving tries to go for the reverse, Kyle Lowry is already in prime position to go up and block that shot. Now, going back down into the low post, like I was saying, Kyle Lowry is a bulldog when it comes to the low post. He doesn't let anyone take an advantage because of his height. Now, right here, he basically has a foot between him and his offensive player. And what he does here is he is able to stay close. He's able to hold his ground. He's able to get his body into a 45 degree angle and use his chest, not his arms and not his shoulders, his chest to keep that player from getting an advantage. And then when that player dribbles towards him, he pokes his hand in, making sure to only make contact with that ball. And then of course, Kyle Lowry does get away with a little bit of pulling and everything. He does look like he tugged on to Embiid here, but because of that, that disrupted the play and allowed us to get over an actual post defender to guard him. And then of course, the ability to take charges. So how does Kyle Lowry take so many charges? Well, he is absolutely fearless. And well, what we see here is Joel Embiid and what you're going to notice with Kyle Lowry is his ability to take charges so often, but also take a guess on who he takes charges on the most. It's the larger, bigger players on the other team. And because that's because they tend not to be able to stop as quickly. So what we have here is Joel Embiid, he's driving, Kyle Lowry jumps in front, Joel Embiid had his head down, and of course, charge ensues. So remember, when you're taking a charge, you want to get in front of that player and you want to make sure that your feet are planted and you want your body to be straight up as possible. Now, depending on the league and depending on the referees, you may be able to get away with your body going left to right, but you're not going to be able to get away with your body going frontwards to backwards. You need to be straight up most of the time most of the time but again it is the hardest play to call and because of that this is a charge but make sure you need to keep your feet totally planted straight up and fall now when you fall you want to fall without straight arms do not fall with straight arms now in this next play what we have here is again just a player not paying attention Kyle Lowry just taking a charge I hope that this video has helped you become a better defensive basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.